Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Ugly Dog Lures. Today we're going to do a, kind of my take on a bass pattern, a baby bass. My take is quite a bit different than everybody else's so let's just jump into it and get after it. We'll be using the uh, folk art paint alfalfa apple barrel palm leaf black and uh iridescent blue so there's no time like the present folks let's just jump in here and, and see what we come up with you all know i'm about half nuts when it comes to painting anyway so uh first color we're going to be using is alfalfa and the belly on this uh bait will be white so we don't have to paint with the belly we're just going to paint the up and around the sides and stuff so let's thin this first one out turn that air pressure down just a little bit because i'm not really wanting to blow a whole lot of paint on there today so stir this beautiful alfalfa paint up uh, there's a lot of variations on a bass pattern because there's a lot of different colors in the bass you know you have guadalupe bass you have blackback bass you have uh it, it all depends on the water that they're in, folks, as to what colors they are. Uh, so, let's just do my variation on the pattern. And then if y'all want to, we'll do a Guadalupe bass and, and uh, what have you. But let's just take off and do what I think it looks like a nice bass pattern. Uh, I actually do sell quite a few of these lures in this particular pattern, folks, so... I'll let that speak for it itself. We'll get that nice and stirred up, pretty and green, and we'll just get after it and get it done. So today we'll be using the Iwata HPCS today is what I'm uh, using. We don't need much of this green paint here. Then we're running about 12, 13 pounds of pressure. So we're going to just start and Start laying that lighter green on. Right down to about the lateral line. And if you go down a little bit past the lateral line, it's okay. It's okay because there's nothing perfect in nature, folks. Finally lay that alfalfa up in there and get her to look like that. Go ahead and while you're there and shoot that nose on that bait. So that's that color, folks. Now, folks, this palm leaf, I, I like this color a lot. And I, you'll figure out that I use it in a lot of different baits. And it don't take much. It's just a little bit different green. And I'm just going to put it down the back and then fade it down into this lighter green a little bit. Is all we're going to do. So it ain't going to take very much. Just a few drops of it will be sufficient. And we will be using black on this bait too, folks. Uh, there's the old run test. So it'll have a black back on top of it, folks. And uh, we will be using cheaters on this. So let's go ahead and get this different green blowed on here right quick. And there we go. That's about all it's going to take. We'll come right in here. Let me straighten that just a little bit. Run this little darker green up this back. Now at an angle, folks, I'm just going to fade it into that side a little bit. Is all that I'm going to do. But I want that other to stick out behind it just a little. So that's it, folks. That's the next step in this here. I'm always taking wipe excess paint out of my brush. Then I get my cleaner and give it a good cleaning. I always clean the tip on my brush too to clean paint, especially when I'm priming because folks, when I prime, I may have 40 lures out here priming them all at the same time. 40 different types of lure, so. There we go, and I do use a lot of paper towels in here, which is all right with me because they're cheap.
Okay, let's heat set that green. Well, there we go, folks. There's our first two colors on this bait. And uh, the next we're going to be using is gloss black. So let's uh, go ahead and get it out here while that's a drying. And we don't need a whole lot of this gloss black either. Just a little bit. We'll thin it out nice. And uh, we'll be using a glitter on this bait. And it's this disco glitter. Everybody's so fond of. So let's go on ahead and get this black mixed up, folks. So remember, folks, any of these baits you see me paint, and I have pretty close to 500 baits painted right now, uh, you can purchase at uh, uglydoglures.com. No www, just uglydoglures. Uh, and let us know what you're looking for, and if we don't have what you're looking for, maybe we can paint it for you. So and that's what I've been doing this weekend was I had quite a few orders to fill, so I filled them. We just package them this afternoon and get them out tomorrow morning. So there's our black. Let's do our finger test. It running nice. See that right there? I liked it. Finger test. That's how I figured out over the last few years how to get your paint to where it sprays really nice through your gun is to do that. So well, there we go. That looks like she's pretty dry. So the next step in this process is uh, just go ahead and pour this up my gun. And that is just about all we're going to need right there. And we're going to put these stencils on. them lined up and we're just going to go through here and paint that just like that then we'll flip this thing around get it up here like this throw another coat on the other side that stencil off that side pop that stencil off that side and there's what we got folks uh, now we're going to clean these stencils off we'll heat set that black paint on there and we'll move on to the next chapter in this little paint we're doing that's, that's kind of my take which my take can be different than everybody else so that's the thing about art folks is uh, throwing your own spin onto it. And that's kind of what I like to do. Get that head black a little bit. Blacking that nose up. So, there we go, folks. We're progressing on that thing pretty nice. So, uh, now on to the next little chore on this. This is uh, iridescent folks and uh, don't ask me why I do this it's just something that I do and I like but we're gonna put just a tiny bit of iridescent paint on the side of this bait just not very much just a tiny bit one one time over is all we're gonna be going for so let's mix this up See there, there's about four drops of paint in there. And that's all that I want, folks. Just that little bit. And we're done with that. And uh, we're going to throw a little bit of this black paint right in behind the eyes on this bait. Got 
God Almighty, I'm shaking today, folks. Just a little bit of black in there. Just a hair bit more black there. Looking down that thing like that. Go and clean our brush Take out. Take the tape off this bill. Put us some eyes on there and move on. There we go. Jump in here in the eye drawer and uh, figure out what eyes we want to put on here today. Silver or red, folks? I think this bass needs red eyes. And we'll put a watermark on the bottom of him here in a minute. Also, so let's uh, get our red eyes and lay up on this dude. This one in there good and get him in place where he goes. So there's our red eyes, folks. Looking good on that little old bait. So let's get our watermark and we'll put that on the bottom. Water slide, watermark, whatever you want to call it. It's this little thing my wife gave me right here. It's just a label that this is a look ugly dog lure. So, put these back in the drawer here. And where there's some water right there. We don't need much water. About 10 seconds in the water is about all it takes. And we'll pull it out here and put it on, let it dry, and epoxy it. It don't take long. It slid right off of there. We're going to let that dry for a minute. Put our epoxy on it, hang it, and we'll be done with this video for a little while. Well, folks, that's kind of one take on a baby bass, and I have several different ones that I do. But this is just one that I wanted to show you, and it's one of my better sellers as far as a baby bass pattern. Everybody has a baby bass pattern, and everybody's is just slightly different. So, and that's the thing about doing art, is uh, use your imagination. Come up with your own. So this is a 1.5 square bill, uh, one in one. Like always, one in one on the square bills. One of the epoxy, one of the hardener, 
and a little bit of glitter in it and uh, let's just get her done let that run down there good so we can see what we got in there I can't stress enough how important it is to mix your epoxy to exact amounts you're gonna get way better results if you do I see guys that just pour it on a plate and uh, I'm not gonna do that at all so teach his own folks always mix your epoxy really well it'll get cloudy when it's mixed good so folks I've been using this DevCon for a long time but I'm gonna do a challenge uh, I tried some different ones and I, I just did not like the results from at all so I'm gonna try another epoxy that's similar to this and we'll do a challenge between it and uh, DevCon it's a BSI epoxy I think that's Bob Smith Industries is what it is so we're gonna give that a try and uh, I don't think they're ever gonna get me away from this particular epoxy but I want to do a challenge video on which one that I like best and why so that's what I'm going to do I always remember the folks to get around in my eyes really well once that epoxy sets it ain't gonna be easy at all to get them eyes out a lot of guys will actually glue their eyes in but there's no need in that that's just personal preference and there's nothing wrong with it myself that epoxy is going to glue that eye in there for me if you use good epoxy i mean if you're dipping them in kbs or something yeah probably ought to glue that eye in there good well, folks that bait's coming out very nice I kind of like it and I'm going back over it and back over it and back over it and back over it just pulling any excess off making sure every spot is covered very well with it and there we go folks that's my take on a baby bass which I have several different patterns that I actually do that in but that's one of my takes and that is a pretty hot selling lure it sells almost as fast as I can keep them painted it slowed up some with the all the stuff that's happening in the world right now but it had not slowed up very much uh, there's still a lot of guys that go out fishing and they still call me and have me paint custom stuff for them and, and uh, so there it is folks all epoxied up and looking sharp so uh, let's hang it over here on the rack to dry